I don't think this vulture is going to be very effective. Uh, luxury is going to have... Well, maybe it will be. I don't see a whole lot out for Luxury in terms of units. And Zerglings won't do anything against that Vulture. Because, okay, the Sunken Colony is out for Luxury, so Luxury is going to be able to stop it. But, I mean, Lita just all over the place in this game already. And already, this is a very interesting, exciting game. Lita certainly plays an exciting game. And Luxury, it looks like, is getting his Lair up. So he's going to have Lair Tech relatively soon. And what is this? Lita is going for wraiths. That's right, Lita is going for wraiths as well as vultures. Really unorthodox play from Lita here. It looks like Luxury is setting a Hydralisk den down, and this is really unusual play from Lita. Kind of sort of an old school build in some ways. Uh, we're going to see wraiths coming out of that starport very soon. And I'm not sure if Luxury is going to be prepared at all for them. I don't think he has any idea this is coming. That Overlord is going to get taken down. And I, I have to say, uh, Lita is just really showing some interesting play in this game. Some really unorthodox play, but really entertaining play. Nonetheless, that Wraith is out. Luxury has seen that Wraith. A control tower going down now, either for dropships or cloak. I'm going to guess it's going to be cloak. Meanwhile, Luxury is going to try and push out with these Zerglings and Hydralis. He's going to take that Vulture out. Lita looks like he's actually setting up behind Luxury's base with a siege tank, and he's going to set a bunker down there as well. Uh, I think he's going to be able to attack that mineral line of uh, Luxuries. He's going to be able to attack... The, the mineral line, and those drones are going to get shelled. Luxury is going to have to pull those mining drones back. He's going to have to pull, and that is going to be a serious blow to his economy. Lita with just masterful play in this game. Uh, th this is very unorthodox from Lita, but undeniably effective. Nonetheless, this Wraith and Siege Tank going to make life incredibly hard for Luxury. And it looks like Luxury is going for an omen attack against Lita's base. He's sending his drones and his ground force forces against it. I'm not sure if Lita is going to be able to stop this. Lita's forces are completely out of position. He has nothing at his base. All that's stopping it is this wall in. And if he doesn't get SCVs done to repair those supply depots right away, those Zerglings are just going to tear everything apart. I don't think those Zerglings, they don't look like they're going to get through. Those SCVs are repairing those structures. Oh man, ter tremendously exciting game. That Wraith is making life hard for the Zerglings. And the problem is those Zerglings just have nowhere to go. The, the Wraith is just all over them. Lita, meanwhile, is going to take out Luxury's natural expansion. We're going to be seeing a quick game here. Down to the wire, I'm not sure who's going to end up ahead. But undeniably, very exciting game of StarCraft. It looks like Luxury's getting a Spire down now, but I'm not sure that's going to factor into this game at all. Luxury moving in again with a Hydralisk and a ton of Zerglings. But there is a Wraith, and those there are two Wraiths out now for Lita. And the, uh, Luxury has nothing to counter those Wraiths. That isn't enough Hydralisks. And those Wraiths are going to make life very hard. It looks like Lita Siege Tanks, meanwhile, are shelling Luxury's second hatchery. And it looks like Lita's moving his factory, perhaps down back to his main base to try and reinforce it more effectively. And it looks like Luxury, with a lot of Zerglings, now moving for a third time, moving on Lita's main base. I, I, again, I'm really not sure Lita will be able to stop this attack. I mean, it's only a matter of time. I mean, Lita has taken out Luxury's expansion critically, which is what's going to keep him in the game. But Luxury has uh, Mutalisks out now. Those Wraiths are going to be effective against the Mutalisks. But for how long? Scourge looks like Scourge coming in! Oh, wow! And, uh, uh, <laughs> wow! Luxury GG's. Wow, that was a, a chaotic game, an exciting game. Um... <sighs> Really impressive play from Lita. Just exceptional. Wow. Man, that that came down to the last minute. Once Luxury saw those uh, that cloak go down for Lita, he knew he didn't have a chance. Uh, but that was, that was an exceptional game. Some exceptional play on Lita's part. Some very unorthodox TVZ. And Lita showing us, yeah, Lita showing us why he's so good right now and why he stands such a great chance. I mean, really, to be honest with you, this really might be shaping up to look like Lita's MSL to win. Uh, just some exceptional play from this little Terran player. Um, 
I don't know where he's been hiding it, but he has just been dominant, and he has added yet another Zerg win to his belt. And so, very, very exceptional play. Fantastic play. Lita advances out of this group. Lita's moving on to the round of 16. So this has been Vanel. Thanks, guys, for listening. Coming at you from the zone. See you guys later.